of applause for being here. And you're probably wondering, how the fuck are you here, John? You're dead. Well, I died and went to heaven and God rejected me. Yes, another man in my life rejected me. He didn't recognize me. I had so much fucking plastic surgery. True. And I said, I'm out of here. And I ran into Robin Williams on the way out. And he said to me, Joan, stay. You're in a better place. You're in a better place. I said, I'm not in a better place. I have a house in the fucking Hamptons. I'm not in a better place. But I'm here in Puerto Vallarta, here at the, at the Pong. Isn't it great here in Puerto Vallarta? Come on. So great. And uh, what do you think of the opera? Because I wanted to dress for you this evening. What do you think? Yes. Thank you, my John Today's life. I found this in John Travolta's closet, which is perfect. Oh, he has been in the closet so long, I want to give him to Goodwill. Can we talk about this? But he was there for the birth of his three children. Yeah, he was there for the birth. It would have been nice if he was there for the conception, but the point is, but he was there for the birth. So where are the gay men? Let's start with that in the audience. Gay men, by applause. Yes! I love my gays, and I'm all for gay marriage. And I went to George Michael's uh, wedding years ago. Remember, George? You're young. <laughs> I went to George Michael's wedding, and they had it where they met, at the men's room in Hyde Park. I mean, it was... <laughs> so, all right, you So you two together, married or what? Not married yet. What, are you destroying what's going on? Well, how long are you together? Two years. Get a ring. I always... Say to the straight people, no diamond, no hymen. That's how it works? Get a fucking ring. She knows this bitch over here. What's your name? Anna Banana. Anna Banana, the stripper of Pata Banana. Anna Banana. Look at you, my darling. You look great. You shaved your legs. Perfect. You look great. So, uh, so you're married for money? What's going on? You're married for money? He's got one foot in the grave. Did you marry for money? No, choking, choking. These are so uh, yeah. you marry from money and you fake orgasm. Later. These are life lessons. You marry from money and you fake orgasm. And it's easy, easy for the gay men to fake orgasm. You just spit on the guy's back. True. True. Oh, gone too far, Mr. No, we're just getting fucking started. Where are the lesbians in the room? Lesbians. Not one lesbian. Good, good, good. Stay, stay, stay. Swim with sharks, swim with, yes. Did you swim with sharks here in Puerto Vallarta? No. I went swimming with sharks, yes, I went, and you spent $250 to swim with fucking sharks, it's awful. So I found the fattest woman I could find, and I said, I hope you have your period. <laughs> so, okay. And the dolphins are even worse, you swim with dolphins, what's your name? You, Adam, I, you swim with dolphins? Look, he's stoned already. It's on the corner of Canada. Don't swim with dolphins. They say, oh, they're intelligent. Dolphins are, they shit. Yes, they shit these stuff. Because you're swimming along in Puerto Rico. Really you're swimming, swimming, and you look over and you go, is that a brown eel? Is that a brown eel? No, they shit in the water. So where are you from, my darling? You? Nebraska. Number, let's hear it for Nebraska's in the house. Great. Right now, let's go. So, is this the lesbian? No, so no lesbian. So, who's with who? Are you two together? No. You're not. You, you, you're friends. You're friends. Because uh, I'm, I'll ask the fucking question. I mean, like, get your own act. Now, where are you from? Chicago. Let's hear it for Chicago's in the house. My good friend Oprah Winfrey. Yes, I saw her at the Oscars. Oprah Winfrey. And she claims she's not gay. You know what? Come on. Oprah and Gail. I don't lick my best friend's vagina. No, no, no. With Gail. No. But she's kind of fat, Oprah. You, have you met her? She's, a, she's fat. She, she, and I saw her two years ago on the red phone. She said, Joe, nobody loves me. I'm fat. Nobody loves me. I said, Oprah, that's not true. Your butcher loves you. Your baker loves you. People <laughs> She said, well, when I fly on the airplane, I have to buy two airplane seats. I said, Oprah, you get two meals. <laughs> the bitch perked right up, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. So what? So we have a lot of gay men here. I love. Where are you two from? You're stoned too. And you, Gary? Where's Gary? Gary! Gary Beck, lady. Give him a round of applause. He sees all the shows. He writes reviews and I has a good fucking review. Yes! <laughs> no, we're so happy you're here, my dad. Where are you from originally, Gary? San Francisco. Great, great, great. I love it. And you, and over here, the gays over here. Where are you from? New York. New York. Let's hear it for New York. New York! 
Yes, and it's a tough town. The Statue of Liberty carries a gun. New York there. But it's cold there. Up here. It's in a, I was there two weeks ago in New York, and it was so cold, I saw a pregnant woman go into labor when her ice broke. I mean, it was awful. <laughs> oh, where do you live in New York? Where? Manhattan. Manhattan. We're uptown or down? Uptown. East, west. I was east, which is great. I was 62nd and uh, 5th Avenue. One east, 62nd. And was, but I had Korean neighbors. Can we talk? Any Koreans in the room? Good. No lesbians, no Koreans. We have a great fucking show. Great. Because Koreans eat fucking dog, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I know, bro. Oh, I have Korean neighbors on the Upper East Side of fucking Manhattan, and they eat dog, and they said, Joan, take it out of the act. We don't eat dog. We don't eat dog. And there's a leash hanging from her mouth. They eat fucking... At Thanksgiving dinner, they invited me over for Thanksgiving dinner, and the turkey <laughs> had a frisbee in its mouth. I mean, they eat fucking. And here, here's your turkey, here's your dog, right here, right the fuck in. That's it. But we have to say, I'm, we're in such a, we, we love being here. We were just in Hartford, Connecticut. Anybody from Connecticut? Hartford. Hartford, Connecticut. Are you from there? No. Don't want you open your fucking mouth, don't you? <laughs> I knew it, we did a benefit, uh, it was great, it was for a deaf charity, which is great. Let's applaud charity of all kinds. Okay. Charity, charity. Over Christmas, I did my bet, my favorite charity with Paris Hilton, it's called to uh, Toys for Trots, which is great. And my other great charity is uh, for sexually deprived seniors, it's called Feels on Wheels. <laughs> But, it, but we just did a thirsty but we did a, a thing in Connecticut, it was for a deaf organization, you know, which is so great. But there were these two church ladies with the signers, you know, and, they, and I have a foul mouth, so they were fucking in shock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you, and they talk, you want to know what the sign is for uh, orgasm? Do you know? The sign for orgasm. <laughs> you want to know what faking orgasm is? Yeah, this is faking orgasm. <laughs> That's it. And I said to the two church ladies, what's the sign for cunt? They both pointed at me. Are they all... <laughs> <laughs> ladies, if you're in for a treat, are you ready for a good time? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Great to see Barbara Streisand, Liza Minnelli, Cher, Judy Garland, even Michael Jackson, which is great. And they're all backstage shaving in the same sink, which is great. Which is great. But we thought before we get things going, we would bring out uh, the gauge. You've been to Provincetown? See? You see? See? Do you know Thirsty Burlington? No. Pretend you do. Do you know Thirsty Burlington? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, there. She is fabulous, and you're all going to know her very soon because uh, her movie comes out over the summer. It's simply titled Thirsty, and it's about her life. She's got an amazing life, and we thought, why not we bring her here to Provincetown, and she'll be like our warm back, you know, the opening act. Then we're going to get to all the big stars. So how about that? Is that a plan? How about that? How about that? So, keep the applause going, later. Without further ado, it's Saturday night. Let's have a fucking good time. 